it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and I've got something completely different today. I'm going to go through 40 questions. None of them are craft related. This is a little bit about getting to know me. So if it's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. Otherwise, check out my channel tomorrow and I'll be back with a normal craft video. Now I saw Gina Loves to Craft do this back in November, so it's been a while in the making. I thought I would do this a lot sooner, but I'm doing it now and I'm gonna share the questions, the same questions that Gina did. So I'll put her link down below if you're not familiar with her channel. She's the sweetest YouTuber I know. But let's get straight into it. I don't want this to be too long of a video. So no particular order, no rhyme and reason. I just copied down her questions to do. Now I've got the questions all on my phone here. So if you see me looking down, I'm just checking out the next question. Do you like blue cheese? Not at all. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. I've been with my husband, Darren, actually since I was 16. So we've been together a very long time. Whiskey, vodka or tequila? Um, I do like a bit of whiskey, not a fan of vodka. Tequila is the drink I would go for if I was wanting a shot of something. Uh, but normally I drink wine, I'm a wine drinker normally. And next question is hot dogs or cheeseburgers? Um, I do like both, but since becoming celiac, very difficult to find gluten-free hot dogs. So I'm gonna say cheeseburgers for this one. Favorite food, I, I can never pin down a favorite. I'll be honest with any of these questions that are asking for a favorite. Um, depends what mood I'm in, depends what day of the week, depends what I've just eaten, depends what I'm craving. But I would say most versatile food for me would be something like a potato, because you can do it many ways. Um, or eggs, I love lots of different eggs. If it's takeaway, I'll probably go for pizza or Indian food. Didn't really answer the question, did it, on favorite food. I can't pin myself down to one. I love my food. Um, what do you drink in the morning? Um, I love having a coffee in bed before I start my day. That's when I usually check out any new YouTube videos um, on my social media, that kind of thing. What's happening in the world with news. So yes, I like to drink a coffee in the morning. And I have a skinny weak flat white. So if you've not heard of a flat white, it's very similar to a latte. Uh, I, feel, I feel like it's an Australian drink. I haven't heard of it since I came here, but um, I don't like strong coffee. So I do have it nice and weak. Can you do 100 push-ups? No, I probably couldn't even do 10, I'll be honest. I'm not an exercise person. Uh, favorite season? That has to be spring. I love spring. I love that feeling of new beginnings, the freshness, all the birds, the flowers, the spring flowers. Yeah, spring is my favorite time of year. Favorite hobby? Now, this is obviously gonna be crafting. Again, I cannot pinpoint a single hobby that I like. I love my paper crafting, my sewing. I love trying new hobbies, you know. I'm dying to try resin pour, but I'm holding off. Not gonna jump into that just yet. Recently did candle making, I enjoyed that. I love essential oils. All kinds of crafting is my hobby. Tattoos, do you have any tattoos? Yes, I've got one kind of on my stomach, a little dolphin that I had when I was in my 20s, bit of a mistake. Uh, and recently I got this, which you may have seen in my videos, and my daughter's got the same one actually, it's a little moon. Um, so we got that when we were in England a few years ago. Do you wear glasses? Yes, all the time. I um, I cannot do short or near without them. Um, I used to wear contact lenses for a long time, but my eyes are too bad even for contact lenses now. So glasses all the way. Phobias. Um, this one's probably going to surprise you because it's spiders and living in Australia, they are big spiders, trust me. Although the smaller ones are the ones you need to be more afraid of, like the white tits and the redbacks. Um, we came, first of all, visiting friends in the year 2000 and I had to get hypnotised before I came. I was having nightmares at the thought of coming. So I have got a little bit better over the years. I do still completely freak out. Don't cry like I used to, I don't scream like I used to, but I still get terrified and have panic attacks. Um, there was a spider in work recently, it was a huge one crawling along the floor, it was a couple of inches in diameter. Everyone thought it was normal, trying to rescue it, put it outside, no, I would have gone straight there with the bug spray. Whichever room I'm in, I have got the spray to kill. No qualms whatsoever, I just, they terrify me. Do you have any nicknames? Um, being called Karen, it's probably Kaz is the main one I get, or my initials are KB, it's probably my preference, I'm not too keen on Kaz, but um, yeah, nothing in particular. Favourite candy or chocolate? Um, I love chocolate, again, got to be careful with being celiac, um, I would love a Kit Kat, I do miss Kit Kats, they used to be my favourite. 
Um, in terms of candy, I love Haribo. I don't know if you've heard of Haribo sweets. They like little jellies. I love those. Do I believe in ghosts or spirits? I absolutely do and I have actually seen a ghost. This is a whole nother video by the way guys, cannot get into it now, but I'm absolutely a believer of ghosts <clears throat> and 100% belief of spirits. I've been able to make contact with spirits um, via a medium in the past. So yes, firm believer in that and I do find comfort in it as well, knowing that we do have a big believer in afterlife and reincarnation. So yes, that's, an, that's a big thing in my life. I'm very consider myself a spiritual person. So um, yes, definitely into that. It's downfall. Mm. Um, I'm probably a bit too trusting and a bit too um, gullible, you know, I do take people at face value, it takes me, it does take me a while to trust them but once I do, if that trust gets broken then I feel like that's my biggest downfall because for me that person can do no wrong and then when you proved otherwise, um, yeah, it can be quite hurtful and upsetting. And my biggest downfall I would say. Do I prefer rain or snow? Absolutely love snow. If you're sat in that house, thinking of my days back in England, sat in the house, seeing it snow, there it is, just magical, isn't it? But if you're getting up at work at 6 a.m. and the snow has turned to grey sludge and it's just, can't walk in it, it's all, yeah, depends on the situation. Um, being in Australia, we love the rain, we love the rain, but not when there's like day after day after day, you know, so it's all moderation, quantity. Piercings, yes, I did have my ears pierced when I was 11. I tend not to wear them very often now though. They tend to ache a little bit when I put earrings in, so I've not worn them for a while. My age, I turned 50 in January, so that was a big milestone and a bit of a life adjustment as well, reaching that middle age officially. I'm 50, I'm proud. French fries or onion rings. Do not like onions, do not like tomatoes. Uh, I know I'm very unusual in that respect. So French fries all the way. I love French fries, McDonald's French fries. Kids, yes, I've got two. Um, you probably see them all the time in my creations. So my son Martin is 18 and I've got a daughter Louise is 22. So you will definitely come across their pictures in my crafting. Favorite color? Again, how to say favorite, depends on my mood, but I do prefer blue. I find it really calming. Can you sing? No. And does it stop me? No, um, I sing a lot in the car, in the shower. I know I've got a terrible voice. When I've had too much to drink, yeah, I lose my inhibitions and I sing regardless. I wish I could. If, that, if there was one thing you could have, like a superpower, I would love to be able to sing. I would do it all the time. I love music. Um, can you whistle? No. And I have to say, it's one of the things I really cannot tolerate as well. Some My husband whistles all the time in the morning and it just... It just grates on me. I just, anyone whistling, I don't know why, it annoys It annoys me. Uh, where were you born? I was born in England in a little town called Wigan. Um, probably famous for rugby league, or uh, Wigan Pier, the famous George Orwell book. And it's a little town, working class town, old mining town, right in between Liverpool and Manchester, which you probably would have heard of. Siblings, yes, I'm a middle child. I've got uh, an older brother, two years older than me, and a younger brother, two years older than me. So yes, there's two years between us all, and I'm very lucky to be in the middle. Can you cook? Um, no, I cannot cook. Um, I try, I don't enjoy it. I'm very fortunate that my family can cook, so the children and my husband cook, um, and I do my little bit of a share. Normally when it's my turn to cook, it's takeaway night, but do not, do not enjoy it, not one of my strengths. Can you swim? Um, yes, of a fashion, not very good. Um, we do have a pool and it was one of the first things that we wanted to make sure the children could do when we came here. So yes, I, I like getting in the water but I wouldn't class myself as a strong swimmer. Religion, really wouldn't class myself as religious. Um, was baptised or christened Church of England um, before we got married and you know I do believe there's something out there I'm not necessarily sure if it is the God that we think of but I definitely call for him in times of need when um, those dark moments you know I do still do my little press so maybe I'm slightly religious in that respect show our bath um, or bath depending where you're from in England um, I do prefer a bath. We don't really have a good one in this house. The, the baths are not like the baths you would think of. They're very shallow. They're just more like, well, we, we, we use it to bath our dog. 
Uh, he's the only one that goes in it. But yes, my dream when we renovate our bathroom is to have a gorgeous roll top bath that I can use. So whenever we go away, holiday or stay at a hotel overnight, I always make sure it's got one so I can take the plunge and enjoy it. City or nature. Um, again, I'm a bit of both. Depends what depends what mood I'm in. Um, I love that busy city atmosphere, but then I also love being able to just relax and refresh and renew in nature. So it depends on the place and time. Good friend. Yes, I'm very fortunate to have some good friends. I don't have many of them. I keep my my little corner close. Um, I don't often let many people into my life. I'm not one of these people that have millions of friends. I have maybe le I have maybe half a dozen um, that I class as my dear friends. I'm very privileged to have them in my life. Broken bones. Nope. Very lucky, never had anything broken. TVs in your house. So this is gonna sound very extravagant. My daughter's got one in her bedroom, so do I. Um, we have one in our main living area and in our back room as well. And we also have one outside as well for when we're in the garden. Worst pain ever. Um, it's probably gotta be heartache rather than physical pain. You know, physical pain, then, you know, apart from something that's elongated in like a toothache or back pain or you know giving birth most pain is over pretty quick isn't it but um heartache just lasts a lifetime so you never get rid of that so yeah that's the worst pain i think do you like to dance yep a bit like singing it's only when i'm drunk <laughs> that you'll see me dance but i do enjoy it even though i'm a terrible dancer camping or fishing um i'm gonna say neither um when we were younger in our 20s we did Quite a bit of camping because it was the only thing we could afford cheaper cheerful at the time um but no right now i would not choose either if i had the option and the last one says are you weird um i don't know it's probably for someone else to ask i'm comfortable in myself i know i'm not mainstream i know i've not got the same interests as most people i don't spend every night in front of the tv i love my little craft room my happy place a lot of people don't get it, you know, the, the pleasure of making a card for someone. Um, maybe I am weird, I don't know, but I am comfortable who I am and in my own skin. So if that makes me weird, I'm, I'm cool with that. Those are all the questions that I had on my phone. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. It's something a little bit different, isn't it? And definitely out of my comfort zone being on this screen as well. If it's something you'd like to see more of, let me know. If you've got any other questions, put them in the comments box below. If I get enough questions, I may do another quick video. Otherwise, I'll answer them in the comments section. And apart from that, I hope to see you again tomorrow when I have another video for you. Thank you for watching, if you're still with me at this point, And have a great crafting weekend.